Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me. All right, so Cancer, we have coming out for you. The first card is the Wizard of Awareness. So it's like you've already made something happen. You've already done the work with the three card. You've already put in your time with a particular situation. Could be love, could be career, uh, or you're doing the work at right now. It says that you don't have to do much. Just let the magic happen. Let the miracle unfold right in front of you. Don't try to help universe, spirit, whatever it is you believe in. Just be there. Be present. Um, it's just like you have to take you have to take your desire and your opinion out of this and just kind of go with the flow and let things um, just happen. It talks about also being mindful, mindfulness, you know, just thinking, really thinking things through and thinking on a deeper level. Um, keep in mind that nothing is personal. People come and they go. If there's a situation that you're asking about, it definitely could get better because it's a miracle. Some magic is happening right before you. And you have to do nothing um, in order for it to happen here. So that's what uh, the Wizard of Awareness talks about. So it's, it's just about being self-aware, aware, mindfulness, um, taking a step back, thinking deep, you know. Wow. And then the Queen of Cups shows herself. I won't pull her out, but I will... Um, show you guys so it's like yeah mindfulness think on that deep level or maybe you're dealing with someone who's like that let's see how cancer is coming into the reading how is cancer 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 coming into the reading whoa 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 so, Cancer, you are a wizard because we got the magician, which is a wizard also. So, this is you. You manifest and you put some things out there to the universe. You used your affirmations, your prayers, and you're just really trying to make something happen. It says use your words wisely. Play your cards right. It says you have everything you need to make it work, to make it happen. A very powerful man or masculine energy. You're getting bright flashes of of uh you know uh idea coming to you okay or bright flashes of light maybe your third eye could be opening i don't know what's going on uh only you would know channeling also channeling from the divine so it's like you're getting some divine messages okay just sparks and maybe even words or uh, sayings or something of that nature it, it, it then makes sense a little bit later when you do your research or when you just keep going um you're learning how to do something also here i don't know some of you could be picking up a book writing a book something about speech also putting something together it looks really good. So you're coming into the reading as the magician, the wizard of awareness. So it's like you're not really, you're kind of hands off. You have the idea. And right now it's about um, getting everything in order so that you can manifest. Bringing your dreams to fruition, says the magician or the wizard of awareness. Very nice. Okay, some more cards fell onto the floor, but we'll put them back in. All right, so let's see. What is the advice for cancer moving forward? Advice for cancer moving forward. Advice. Okay, you got two cards. The Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords. All right, so do something. Get out there. Do something. Make it happen, Okay sitting back and and um well first of all with the ace of wands it says be up for the challenge so that we, so we need to identify that it is a challenge or whatever it is you're doing the ace of wands is the number one entrepreneur card so it's like you have to do something you have to, it's like market yourself or put yourself out there or get it started or um you know why am i hearing filibuster 
Ooh, so maybe you over talking people or something like that. Um, if not, then it's it's more so. Um, it was the other word I heard. I heard something else. Anyway, maybe it'll come back to me. For some of you, this is a challenge. You're throwing your hat in the ring, so you just like you know that there's other people who have done this, either successfully or unsuccessfully. But you're up for it. The two of swords is what you don't see. It's advice here. It's about um, with the two of swords here, planning, plan and pre-plan, plan again, make a decision too. You know, there might be things that you just don't see. You're going to have to really um, be aware of them. Okay, wisdom of awareness. You're going to have to be prepared for them. Uh, when opportunity meets uh, preparation, then we have success. So if the opportunity, Ace of Wands, meets you, if you're prepared, then you, you'll be successful. So it's like things are aligning for you or lining up for you, um, Cancer, for you to take some necessary step or put something out there or uh, do something with the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, but be prepared. Be prepared for something to come into you. Don't just sit around and wonder or don't be unprepared is what the cards are saying be ready be balanced be ready you and something else is reconciling or are reconciling it could be with a particular person it could be with a libra libra or someone with libra in their chart i don't know it also could just be that you, you, you're going to have to cooperate. Something's going to have to cooperate. Or, some, or there's no cooperation. Maybe because I heard no cooperation because of no preparation. So it's like, just be prepared for all things not seen here. Because there's some things you still don't know. What is the outcome for cancer if they take the advice of the cards? So it's like you're trying to bring something into fruition. Do a lot right now. Let's see. What is the outcome of the cards? Outcome of the cards. I'm sorry, outcome for cancer if they take the advice of the cards. All right, so the hermit and the queen of pentacles. So a lot of Virgo energy. So a lot of learning, philosophy. This is picking up books. This is um self, again, self-awareness, self-reflection. Maybe even reflecting on um, business acumen and nature. Okay, all right. So it's just like some of you are trying to start something new, and it's like you before the universe. What the cards are saying before you try to just jump out there, you need to do the homework. You need to do the research. You need to know what you're doing. There also could be maybe a change of philosophy about something. Maybe you used to think some way about. A particular person there's somebody here who could have changed here with the queen of pentacles somebody who you look at in that way um they could have changed uh or they, they're having a change in their uh personality a transition in their personality um some of you have transitioned into um having more money being solid stable maybe you're the single parent a working parent um some of you are going to move or move alone or do some um, independent work or independent. You're going to be more independent, but you need to be ready. You need to know and have all bases covered before you actually jump out there and do something here. This is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two. By texting your question to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.